Hey everyone, I'm Shannon Johnson. I'm with Journey Home Realty. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today I have Lenora from the owner of 185 and I have Erin, her chef here. Thank you both so much for joining me and just opening up your doors to us. Lenora, um, we want to jump right into it. Tell us about 185. How did you get started? What made you decide to open up a restaurant here in downtown Pocosin? We wanted good food, good hospitality, and a good, cute environment for people to come and enjoy just delicious food. Food like your grandma makes it. Yes. Real butter, nothing else on that griddle, whole milk, whole cheeses, just good, wholesome deliciousness on a plate. And I live in Pocosa, I've been here for 17 years, love this town, raised my children here, love paying my taxes <laughs> to this town. And um, I wanted to support it. I opened up a restaurant here. I was a personal chef and a caterer in the area for 20 years. Oh, wow. So my experience brought, helped bring my customers in. We opened and three weeks before COVID, we've been doing great ever since. So yeah, yeah very good. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I will say the food is phenomenal. And with that, I wanna ask Erin to tell us a little bit about the menu. You guys kind of have it all, and we have yet to have a bad meal in this place. Um, right after we retired, we practically lived here. Um, but Aaron, tell us a little bit about the menu here. Um, it's a good classic breakfast menu as far as having all the things you expect and need to have when you go out for breakfast, except that it's all bigger and better. It's all whole ingredients, like she just said, you know, and we take our time with it. We're not buying a lot of pre-made stuff or really any pre-made yeah. stuff. So. We make it all from scratch, all of our sauces. And then it has that just extra kick that she brought to the table with like the uh, different, the sweet meat biscuits and the uh, BLT with the fried chicken skin on it. So there's these little details that just make it better than anywhere else you can go. Not terribly different, you, you know, an omelet, an omelet, an omelet, mm -hmm. but ours is just gonna be better. You know? Right, no, they're so flavorful. And with that, I have to tell you, so Jeremy's favorite item on the menu is definitely their brisket omelet. Um, something about that brisket with that omelet and then they put a chipotle sauce on it, you can't go wrong. And mine is definitely the sweet heat chicken sandwich on the biscuit, the sweet potato biscuits. Oh, are, it's all house made. <laughs> the sweet potato and the angel biscuits are all house made. Oh, and to boot, they do serve cocktails here. So. <laughs> yeah, so I do have to ask, what is your guys' favorite menu? items on the menu. Mine would be the over-the-top salad, much to the chagrins of my staff because it's difficult to make and it, it kind of cuts you in the middle of the, of the line work and you're like, wait, I gotta put an eight-piece salad together. But it's so delicious and it's great for the ladies. Yeah. And my second is the acai bowl. You can't get an acai bowl anywhere near um, other, unless you go to New York town. And I love it. It's fresh, it's wholesome, and the ladies love it too. So yeah. those are my two favorites. I don't know about Aaron's. My least favorite is the <laughs> over the top salad <laughs> and the outside <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two least favorites. Those are your least favorites, yeah. okay. They're, they're, so they're delicious. I get it. People love them. But yeah. Yeah, it, the over the top is amazing. There's so much stuff on it. It mm -hmm. just takes about an hour and a half to make one, but no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Now, my favorites are anything that has brisket on it. Um, our pit boss, John Chesney, makes all of our brisket for us. He does all of our smoking for us, and he's just an expert at it. He knows everything down to the molecular science of why he's using what wood and when to use it and what temperatures. And so he really is studying it to make it something perfect. So anything with brisket in it here is going to be phenomenal. And then my new favorite is uh, the Reuben, the, the Reuben sandwich that we just oh, put out. so good. Just got a really good marble rye bread in up from Pennsylvania, this, this new bread company that we found. It's nice and thick cut. Um, and he a, does it right. He's I'm this very show, particular like, about how a Reuben sandwich is made because I've had some pretty bad ones over the years. Agreed, so. agreed. You can't yeah. just throw Reuben on the menu and think it's going to yeah. be a good Reuben. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, man, we'll have to come back for that one. Try the Reuben. Yes. Okay. Well, I want to know, do you offer like seasonal items? What kind of seasonal interchangeable items do you guys do um, on the menu? We're not really doing seasonal per se. What happens okay. is that as she and I come up with new ideas and try to figure out how to integrate them into our current menu, it's kind of that thing where you don't fix what ain't broken, right? Agreed. So the menu that she originally created ain't broken. So not a big reason to mess with it. So yeah. what we've done is we've offered gourmet nights, 
and we've offered both oh, opening up on Chef Aaron. Yeah. Um, Wednesday nights now that we're open for dinner. That's when we can play with their seasonal things that we can actually awesome. do. But playing with the main menu that we offer on, on the daily, um, it ain't broke. No, it's not. It is incredible. So then your Wednesday night dinners, yeah. tell me, how do we make reservations? Do you have to call ahead? Because, I mean, you guys... We have drove by here, and there is a line of people waiting to get Down in. Down yes. here, parking lot's full, out in the park. Yes. Green lot. That does happen. We do not take reservations. Okay. However, we have a wonderful buzzer system, just like if you were going to go to Lone Star Steakhouse. And the wait t normally isn't more than 14, maybe 15 minutes Perfect. or so. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, so it works. Everybody can get in. We flip tables and, and move on. But the awesome. Wednesday nights is new. Um, it's 3 to 8. Every Wednesday, we have a new soup, and we have two new dinner entrees, and it allows Erin and I to flex our muscle, muscles a little bit yeah. with our creativity with a menu. So it's our normal menu, but that's where we pull in those seasonal ideas. Like right now, we're just having so much fun with the winter and the soups, and, and it's just been wonderful, and it's been received very well, too. Awesome. So three to eight Wednesday are gourmet dinner nights. Yeah. Well, well, there there are if there are dinner night. That's not our traditional gourmet night. Oh, okay. If it were gourmet, this whole room changes. We transform. Linens, it's transformed. Wow. Right, linens to the floor. I have oh, vintage wow. vintage glassware. And the tables are set. Wine glasses, candles. Beautiful. And it's a it's a five, it's a five course uh, menu Maybe with an amuse bouche. Um, we do those as we have time to make those happen. So okay. like our gourmet nights are one thing, and they're 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 big to do. Yeah. Um, the and Wednesday we night thing yeah. is going to be we'll leave our restaurant alone. You know, it'll come in and look like this, um, but we'll still offer really great food. It just won't be as high caliber of a, a price tag okay. as those gourmet nights are. Those gourmet okay. nights are expensive to our customers, and these Wednesday nights are just a little bit more approachable. Yeah. Awesome. It's a nice dinner night. Yeah. So it's dinner away from home. Yeah. Absolutely. And they can pick up as well. They can do oh, carry okay. out. And all of that's on your nice. Facebook page. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to end this great interview with asking you what has been your favorite customer experience since you've opened your doors? Um, I'm going to have to say Sylvia. Our Sylvia is <laughs> wonderful. Um, we have, and I'm going to try not to cry because she's, she's going so she's going wonderful. She's, going <laughs> she's, she's just become a, a friend. She takes care of my flowers out front. She takes care of my flowers inside. She brings me gifts. We do gnomes. She brings me gnomes. Aww. And people have said, wow, Lenora, you have somebody that comes in that takes care of all your flowers. I was like, no, that's our Sylvia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's our friend. And we, we do all these exchanges. She has here. a button on the computer for what she orders. It's called the <laughs> Sylvia Special. You Aww. just press a button and we you have the Sylvia Special. We love her. Aww. We love her. We love her. So awesome. that's mine. Yes. Do you have a favorite customer experience? I do. Oh. His name is Sean, and he works for NASA. Uh, he um, used to order like 10 burritos on every Friday morning for all his guys up at NASA wow. and he, he, would, he still does it but one day I was out back and uh, he walked up and I was like hey man you getting your burritos and he wasn't here to order food he was here to drop off like a cool NASA challenge because I'm a huge NASA nerd so he gave me like a challenge coin he gave me a cool pin from back when John Glenn flew and he gave me a patch from the Langley thing so yeah he's, he's my favorite that is incredible I will say um, this restaurant definitely feels like when you walk in the door, you have that sense of comfort. Um, so you guys have definitely done it right. And we are so honored to have gotten to come out and chat with you. And we continue to enjoy your food. Um, but just thank you both so much for this afternoon for taking time to meet with us. Again, I am Shannon Johnson with Journey Home Realty. And I was with Lenora and Erin from 185. I hope you guys can check them out. If you are a local leader who would like to be interviewed um, for our website, please reach out to us. The, the website will be at the bottom of the page. Thank you all. Thank you.